If you're struggling to get stops on defense in Madden 23, stop what you're doing now, watch this video, because I'm about to break down the best blitz in the entire game, guaranteed to instantly improve your defense. Looking for Madden 23 Ultimate Team Coins? AOEAH.com is the cheapest and most reliable coins on the market. Click the link in the description and use coupon code SPORTS for 3% off your order. Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Duke, back here from SportsGamers.com. And in today's Madden 23 tip video, I'm going to break down the absolute best blitz in the game. This blitz gets insane pressure, it's super easy to set up, and it's going to get you a lot of stops. And it's something not many people know about. A lot of people run the same blitzes online. This is not one you see a lot. It's not one you hardly ever see, actually. It's something that I've found that's very unique, very, very, very difficult to deal with. Now, we're going to be looking at the dollar formation. And I've been kind of hiding this tip for a while um, because it's so good. You can run dollar from a few books. I like to use it at the 4-6. Now, when running dollar, for me, I make sure that I have safeties in a linebacker. And for this blitz in particular, you really want two fast defensive ends. So you guys can see, I have Lawrence Taylor and this guy. It's like This guy's actually like 95 speed, so he's really good. Now, the slot corners in this blitz are both going to be blitzing. So I just put my, my fastest guys there. And then I actually put my two best defensive backs at safety because they're going to be in man. So that's actually super important. But that's really the most important thing. The outside corners, if you're looking at abilities, I would probably put the deep route KOs on them because this will be man coverage. And obviously pick artist. Um, what I like to do with the two safeties is I like to use actually Cromartie and Haynes there. Because they're going to be inside shades. And uh, they're going to be in man coverage. Whereas the slot corner is going to be blitzing. So the slot corners don't need any coverage abilities. You know, you could pit, put a free pick artist on them. But, you know, even at that point, you know, you're kind of splitting hairs. I just have Ed Reed and Calvin Johnson there for me. So we're going to look at Spinner, and I know you're thinking, oh, everybody runs Spinner. Yeah, everybody runs Spinner, but everybody doesn't run Spinner the way I'm about to show you, that's for sure. This way is crucial. It's a glitch blitz. It's not going to get the slot DBs free, even though they're blitzing. It's actually going to get D-line pressure. Now, the reason why I like this blitz so much is it gets pressure against anything. It gets pressure against any formation, shotgun, under center. It gets pressure against any blocking scheme, whether they block the running back or not. And it even gets pressure against play action, including the gun tied offset TEPA shot teams everybody's running. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys examples of everything, how to get pressure on anything, how this blitz works against other formations, how to adjust your coverage against advanced route combos like short side the screen corner routes everybody runs. So make sure you watch this whole video so you don't miss out. I'm going to first break down the basic setup and go from there. So the basic setup without like any advanced adjustments is pretty simple. Okay, you're just gonna make sure you press your coverage and you wanna make sure your auto alignment is set to default, not base. That's gonna get this set up the easiest way. So first, press your coverage. So you hit Y or triangle and down on the left analog stick. You then spread your D-line out. Which to do that, you hit left on the D-pad and up on the left stick. Then you hit QB contain, which is R1, R1 twice. Now you do need to make sure the slot corners are the ones on the contain. So depending upon formation, you might need to move your slot corners in. And if you do, just move them right next to the DNs. Past that, it's all coverage adjustments, which we'll get into later. But just a basic thing to do would to make sure everyone's manned up and use the linebacker that's blitzing and coverage over the middle. Shade your coverage however you want. This blitz is going to get pressure from both DNs. I'm going to show you guys this once or twice, how this just works standard. And then we're going to get into, like, you know, like I said, more, more advanced adjustments. So you guys can see here, this thing screams. Absolutely screams. Now, guys, if you're enjoying this content, make sure you smash that like button, turn your notifications on, subscribe to the channel if you're new, because I do daily content for Madden 23 from tips to gameplays every week. Guys, even a comment, one word, helps me out a lot. And if we can get to 300 likes on this video, I will post another fire blitz from this formation. So, again, guys, literally super simple setup. You press your coverage, you spread your D-line out, you just slide the DBs in if you need to in the slots. If they're on the contains, you hit QB contain, and you're good. So just to slow that down, though, press coverage, spread your D-line out, move the corners in the slot next to the DNs if they're not already in QB contain. After that, again, just coverage adjustments. You can use this guy over the middle. Take away that first read, whether it's a corner route or what have you. It doesn't really matter. Um, you don't need to rush him. Obviously, you're getting two people free super fast. Now, it's important to note, this is a five-man rush. This is your user. I know he rushed here because I can't play offense and defense at the same time. I only have, you know, 
what the ability to do one thing at once. You know, I'm in practice mode. In a game, I'm sitting over in the middle, taking away the first read. I'm not rushing. I will take a step forward, though, just to influence the offensive line, but then I'll drop back. As you guys can see here, both of your DN, well, you get pressure from both sides. Normally, it's both DNs, but if it's not, it's going to be one of the DBs coming off the edge or off the gap. Most of the time, against a regular pass play, it's the DNs, and against play action pass plays, it's the slot corners. As you guys can see, there's no time here. There's no time. So now that you've kind of seen my you know, base setup, let's get into some advanced adjustments and how to beat different formations and blocking schemes, including play action. Looking to become a better Madden player and win more games? Check out SportsGamers.com. I built SportsGamers.com from the ground up to give you the best Madden tips, best Madden ebooks, all at the best price, bar none. We have a VIP membership that gives you access to the entire site, every ebook and every tip we release all year long for only $24.99. Click the link in the description. I've also pinned it in the comments and use coupon code DUKE for 10% off your order. Okay guys, so I kind of want to go over some advanced adjustments to the splits, show it how it works if it blocks the running back, all that type of stuff. So here, let's just keep the running back in first. So when they block the running back, this split still works very well. So again, just press your coverage, spread out your D-line, move the DBs in that are blitzing if you needed, so they're next to the DN. Basically, they just need to be next to each DN, so when you QB contain, you see the slot corners are on the contain. You cannot have the DNs on the contain for the splits to work. It's just that simple. Um, past that is just your adjustments, which we'll get into in a second as far as coverage goes, but I just use it, again, in the middle of the field. If they block the running back, then it actually makes it really easy for me because I don't really need to do much, right? Um, I don't even have to worry about the running back. I still get quick pressure, as you guys can see here, and I discard the middle because I saw it kind of like a little post route, and we got the quick sack. So you guys can see here, even when they block the running back, the guy still just loops right around him um, a lot of the time. Now... Here, it kind of got weird on the right side of the screen. My blitzer on the right slot got bumped, which kind of threw everything off because he didn't. He was very delayed in blitzing, so the right side wasn't as quick as normal. However, the left, as you guys can see here, he just runs right around the running back for the quick sack. Nothing at that point was open. I'm guarding that post myself. Now, something you'll see a lot of players do from bunch and tight formations is short side corner outs, and those can definitely beat man coverage very well. So when running this blitz, there's a few things you need to know. You want your auto flip on. You want your auto alignment to left to default. A lot of people, they run dollar. They have it on base for spinner and DB fire. No, you don't want to do that. You want it on default. And you want to have your flats on 25 with your curl flats on 5. Now, this zone drop combo will allow me to easily take away, you know, the corner routes that someone might try to hit me with. So, for instance, here we can look at display Z spot and go. Set our defense up the same way. Again, press, spread your D-line out, move the corners in if necessary, and QB contain. All right, now past this is all coverage adjustments. So what I would do if someone's hitting me with corner routes on the short side of the screen and flats, because another thing about this is like a lot of times if you just man this guy up, he's not going to get out to the flat in time. However, if you go ahead and put your curl flat on five, he'll get out there. Um, the other thing you can do to stop the corner out is on the bunch side or the tight side, wherever they're doing the corner out, put that outside corner, in a cloud flat, zone drop to 25 yards and back him up. Now, Ward is definitely in a cloud flat. I keep doing it. It's just not showing it on my play art, but he's definitely in one, okay? Ward is in a cloud flat. Hendricks is in a curl flat. Now, at this point, you know, you can make whatever adjustments you want. You can keep this guy in the running back. Um, you know, if they're running C routes over here, you can put this guy in a deep zone so he's not going to get burned by the C route. And that's pretty much all you got to do. And I know it's not showing my adjustments, but basically this guy, he's in a deep zone. There you go. He's in a deep zone. And this guy's in a cloud flat. I'm going to play the middle field myself. Basically, I'm going to watch out if I see a post or a slant or a drag by, say, the tight end or the outside receiver. I'm going to look for that. Um, because I just know that I'm responsible for those two people if they happen to come over the middle field. Here, you know, we see that. You know, we go guard the seam, and we end up getting the sack once again. You guys can see this pressure is so fast. But if you take a look at the replay, I really want you guys to focus on how this coverage worked. So the pressure's there, but look, the C route's not getting burned um, because we have a deep zone over there. The tight end in the flat, he's guarded by the five-yard curl flat. And then this corner route, even if it does get open on the man, you guys can see the, the cloud flat at 25 yards is sitting right there. Also, I'm guarding the middle, so there's really nothing open. Now, this blitz also works very well against play action. 
and especially against this PA shot seam from the tight offset everybody's running. It's a little bit different the way I set it up against this play versus other play actions, which I'll show you now. Basically, guys, against this play, what I'm going to do is I'm going to still spread out my D-line and press my coverage, but then I'm going to shift the linebackers away from the running back. So here the running back's on the right, so I shift them to the left and QB contain. I want to basically get over this guard with my user, and if the running back stays in, I'll just touch the guard at the snap and then drop back, look for any slants or posts or whatever it could be. If he goes out on a route, I'll guard him. Now what's then going to happen here, if QB contains in a six-man rush, is we're guaranteed some sort of quick pressure. Look, that guy's going to come in, they get sacked. Just to show you guys again, I press my coverage, spread my D-line out, ship my linebackers away from the running back, and QB contain. Now you could slide this guy in a bit if you want, not necessary though. You just stand over the guard. When you do this, you're, you're just guaranteeing yourself very quick pressure, right? They're not going to be able to get that away. Now, if they do send the running back on a route, you know, that is your job to guard. So here, if I set the blitz up the same way, we're just going to watch the running back ourselves. So if we do see the running back happen to go out on a route, we're just going to go guard him. Again, we're rushing six because this is a play action play. But if they do send the running back out and they don't, you know, keep him in for the fake, we just go run out there, we get him, and, you know, they're going to get sacked super fast. There's nobody in to stop the blitz. Um, now, if they just run a regular play action play, you don't even have to do any of that. That one is just super, super, super annoying. So, you know, we could easily, against just a normal play action, just kind of go like this, move the guys in, spread the D-line out, run our normal setups, you know, stand over the guard. When you stand over the guard, this turns this five-man rush essentially into a six. Um, against most play action plays, that's going to be good enough. Like you guys see right here, it's definitely good enough. You get the quick sack. Now, you can pass commit if you're really worried about play actions um i only do that though when i know for a fact that they're gonna run a play action i i save that for like third and fourth and long i'm not gonna do that on first and second down because if they do happen to run the ball you guys know what happens when you pass commit this year you can give up huge runs so you just gotta be careful about it but as you guys can see pretty easy you just hit that guard you drop back over the middle or take away basically the first three again they're gonna get sacked here I man the running back up just in case they do decide to send him out. He'll get guarded so I don't have to worry about that and we're good to go. This blitz works against all types of formations the same way. So even if they're in single back, still the same setup. Just spread your D-line out, QB contain it, move these DBs in if necessary. And that's really it. You know, you don't really have to do anything special against this. I mean, obviously if the running back goes out on a route, you're going to have to watch that yourself. But as you guys can see here, super fast pressure. This blitz is crazy. It comes from both ways. If your DNs are fast, they're not going to have time to make reads here. Uh, for play action plays, that's why you want your slot corners to be fast because you know they're going to come on the play action. Against regular pass plays, the D linemen are going to come. This blitz is super easy to set up. It gets great pressure. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. Until next time, it's Duke, and I'm out of here.